I need your help. I just learned that my child is PDA and I know that they're always wanting screen time and what I'm seeing online is saying that I need to lower all demands and just allow them to manage their own screen time. However, I'm terrified of doing that. Can you give me any advice? It is totally normal and valid to be worried about screen time. Here are a couple ways to think about it from a more scientific perspective and putting you in the driver's seat to make decisions that aren't in one extreme of like no screen time at all or another extreme of like there's no limits in our house because neither of those are going to serve you. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is a lot of the research on screens is very valid and evidence-based. However, it's based on averages of children and our children, PDA children, are the outliers. So we don't necessarily have a lot of research that actually applies to our children. So we have to observe in, in, in a very objective, non-judgmental way based on what we're seeing in our homes, okay? So when I'm talking to families, one of the things I suggest is to put on an experimental science cap and to note what they're seeing. For example, overall, are the screens regulating or dysregulating their child more? Do they seem more manic and agitated afterwards or do they seem more regulated afterwards? Second, what is the transition like off the screen? Is it an enormous meltdown or are they getting somewhat activated but are able to navigate it? Third, what are they doing on the screen? Are they, you know, starting to color and draw and write and actually taking ideas from YouTube and building things while they're watching a screen in the background, which is a pattern seen for some of these kids? Or are they zoning out, disassociating, and like becoming a zombie, right? Those are, that's data that we need to observe. Additionally, we need to understand if we're seeing addictive behaviors. Are we seeing more and more intense, inappropriate content? Like there's never enough seeking more dopamine. Or is it impacting nighttime sleep, like nighttime sleep when they need to go to bed? So all of these things are indicators or data that you as a parent can track and make aligned decisions about. But what this means is that we also have to allow for some uncertainty, which means trying something and observing during a period of time mindfully. So what I might suggest is instead of taking the reins off completely, is loosening the screen time limits and then observing on those indicators or dimensions. 